for what should be a really good game one as this series gets underway. Introductions wrapping up down on the field and first pitch just minutes away. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the New York Mets taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set. And today's starting pitcher, Julio Urias. What do you have on him, Chris? We know he's one of the best in the game. Doesn't make many mistakes. And if he's in a pinch, he'll make up a pitch and throw something that you've never seen before. All right, ready to get underway. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The center fielder, number nine. Brandon Nimmo. The pitch. That's in there. So we're off and running in game one. The pitch. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. And now the lefty got him, and there's one away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Here's Francisco Lindor. Ground ball left side. Yet he beats the throw. He's safe. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Man at first with one gone. Jeff McNeil stands in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Urias, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slurve, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. The pitch. Oh. He's been raking in recent oh. games, Jump and start. a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. This one in the air center field. Martinez has a beat on it. Hauls it in for the out. Four, the first baseman, Pete Alonso. Here's Pete Alonso. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. First pitch just misses. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. 
Step off, throw to first. Lindor back easily. That misses the zone. Three and O. Oh. Strike on the inside corner. So now two on and two outs. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Well, everyone wants to get off to a great start in a series. So if you can get on the board first, take a lead, you put some of that subtle pressure on the other team. The 0-1. On the ground. Vargas. On the run. Throw to first. Out number three. Two left for the Mets. The Dodgers coming up. And we are scoreless. This is the National League Championship Series on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And on the hill, the big righty, Justin Verlander. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, last time out, picked up the win, didn't allow a run, pitched extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. Bottom of the first. And the batter now, Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Up the middle. And he beats the throw. Shows off the wheels right there. An infield single. Well, he did all he could at short to try to make an amazing play and almost got it done. But good hustle down the line. And that's an earned infield hit. Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, no, they make moves the on the base paths. Right-hander kicks deals. That one fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. Lindor. There's one. And that's two. Batting third. The first baseman. Freddy. Freeman. Freddy Freeman up to the dish. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One of the things you don't think about with Freddie Freeman, he's really good defensively picking over there, but he's got a very good throwing arm. In high school, he could throw 95-plus from the mound. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball and a strike. Yeah, when you get to the big leagues, you think about you know, filling up the back of your bubblegum card. This guy needs a couple of them to put all the accomplishments that he's had in his career. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One, two now. Bounced up the middle. McNeil. Throw to first is in time. And that ends the inning. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. No score.
Back here at Chavez Ravine. Second inning, set to go. Starling Marte up to hit. Marte. Urias back to work. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Taylor under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. Here's Mark Canna. Mark Canna. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. That's a little bit low. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Zips it across, and a couple of quick outs. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back. And that ball is out of here. A solo shot. And the Mets on the board first. It's 1-0. Breaking ball up and in, you have to be careful to not jam yourself. The velocity's not going to do it, but your swing path can if you come off of the baseball. Pulled his hands tight to the body. Really good job of explosion through the zone and drove it out of here. And now it's Mark Vientos. Ball. First offering misses the Good mark. Ball. No strike. At the belt and fires. That's the ball. Two In the air, center field. Martinez has a beat on it. Makes the catch. And that will end the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. You're watching the National League Championship Series on the show. We head to the bottom of the second. Now here is Mookie Betts. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. The right-hander back to work. Chris Mookie Betts has turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. A former MVP, multiple gold gloves, multiple all-stars, and he's also a really good bowler. Yeah, extremely competitive. This is a guy that's bowled multiple 300 games and not an easy thing to do. Next pitch downstairs at one and one. Singy, what's your high game? Yeah, about 234. The wind of the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Hammered. And this one could be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way.
Next is the Dodger DH, Trace Thompson. That's a strike. It's 0 1. Righty delivers. Strike two. Smith over at second, one down. Pitch misses there. Now one, one and ball. two. It's a good take. The next ball. offering misses. Ball two. This one high in the air to left center. Nimmo brings it in with a nice running grab. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about batting 10 batting. minutes of balls no left, in the gaps. They right. practice this, and when the game comes, Taylor. they make the play perfectly. Chris Taylor now. Yes. That one's in there on oh. one. This to third, Vientos. Slings it across. That is the inning. So the Dodgers leave one, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the Mets' leadoff man, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo getting the start in center, hitting leadoff in today's game, and he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. And it one hops the wall. Around second now, going for three. Safely into third with a leadoff triple. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling, and I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. Reached on an infield single his first time. And he swings and misses oh, at the initial oh. offering. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Fights it off. He'll see another. Kicks and fires. Got him. One down. And now here's Jeff McNeil. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Oh. I don't know how you take that. That was a strike. Lux. Throw pulls him off the bag and he's safe. Well, that's such a routine play. Probably makes that throw accurately 99 out of 100 times or even better. But that one just got away from him a little bit and he couldn't stay on the bag at first. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. Good eye right there.
That misses the zone, and it's 3-0. The pitch. That's a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. That one is absolutely belted back there. And that is gone. Eduardo Escobar leaves the park. And they throw three on the board. It's five zip. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here's Starling Marte. Glide out his first time. They say it went. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. And the 0-1. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And a pitch. That one oh. missed. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Right side, hard hit. Slings to first. Marte retired. The batter, the left fielder, Mark Canna. So up next, Mark Canna grounded out his first time. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. The next pitch misses, and that is ball one. Two down, nobody on. Falling behind two and one. Two balls, one strike. On the ground to the left. In plenty of time to first. And that is that. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run homer. And the lead is now 5-0. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, J.D. Martinez. Chris, that 2018 Red Sox team that won it all. J.D. Martinez was a vital cog in that offensive machine. Of course, Mookie Betts on that team as well. But Martinez led the majors with 130 runs batted in. He was outstanding. And the 0-1. Ground ball up the middle. McNeil gets it to first, and Martinez is out. Batting none. The third baseman, Nash. 
And now it's Max Muncie. Ball one there. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. This one popped up. Alonso drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that. And a couple of quick outs. The batter number nine. Shortstop. Gavin. And now it's Gavin Lux. Lux, 25 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. First oh, offering, down. and it just misses. To the right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Third out, and that ends the frame. Dodgers go down quietly. It's 5-0. Welcome back out of the fourth and now Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. Here comes a pitch. That's the third. Oh great stop over to first. Nicely done for the out. Third base they have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Here's the third baseman, Mark Vientos. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And here it comes. Now fly ball to right center. Pops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, Boog. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Julio Urias done in this one, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. Noah Syndergaard comes on now, and this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Noah Syndergaard. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. In there, and it's 0-1. And the right-hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. That settles underneath it. Drops into the glove. Two down. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. One one now, and a foul ball. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. 
Foul ball left side. He'll see another. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. Lindor checks his swing, appeal to third, and he won a round. Rule to swing. Mets leave one as they are unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Bottom of the fourth, stepping in, Miguel Vargas. The second base. The line of the pitch. Uh -huh. And he takes a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's, that's well strong. above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And the righty deals. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good Freddy. demonstration of what power Freedom. pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. That one to first. And Freeman is retired. Up next to the dog. The right field. Two outs, base is empty. And next for L.A., Mookie Betts. Singy Mookie Betts, given name Marcus Lynn Betts. He attributes a nickname from his parents watching Mookie Blaylock play basketball. Yeah, Boog, and the cool coincidence with that name are the initials, MLB. That's right. In there at the knees. That is strike two. Righty to the plate. Oh, Struck him three. out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. We go to the top of the fifth and stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. The wind and the pitch. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And next for the Mets, Pete Alonso. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, well, these Mets, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. Here's your one. That's inside. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. On the ground to third. Throw on to Freeman, and that takes care of Alonzo. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. Check swing, but he went too far, and it's 0-1. Right-handed reliever. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Martinez moves towards it. And makes the grab. Runner tags and will move up to third. The right fielder in the field. Marquez. 
And now it's going to be Starling Marte. First pitch, and he just misses. McNeil on third with two out. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next pitch misses outside, and it's two and one. And there's a ball. Bounce to the left side. Tosses to first. And that'll do it. Mets strand one. But they hold a 5-0 lead. We head to the bottom of the fifth. The batter now will be Will Smith. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. The this is great. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Trace Thompson. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And that's in there for strike one. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Pulls it in for the out. The left field, number three. Chris. Two outs, base is empty. Taylor. Now the left fielder, Chris Taylor. First time up, he grounded to third. Oh. In there for strike one. To third. Toss to Alonzo. And that is that. Offense held a check there. We're through five. It's the Mets five and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton and leading off, Mark Canna. Cindergaard back to work. What a stop. The throw, and that's a great play for the out. For me, arm strength is the key for that play. Second baseman moving to his right, up in the hole, slides, doesn't have the best footing underneath him, and to be able to make that long throw to first base, that's pretty impressive right there. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And he deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Action in the pen down there. Yenzi Almonte up and throwing. Swings and misses. Two and one now. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Line drive, base hit. Now back, the third baseman. Mark. So digging in, Mark Vientos. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Yeah. 
That clips the corner. 0-2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Cap dances out of the way of that one. The pitch keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Alvarez stands at first with one out. Struck him out swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss Nimmo in the box with two gone and it takes a look at a called strike and now it's even up On the ground, right side. To second, Lux. That's the third out. So one hit is all they get. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Mets five and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Well, we go bottom six. And here is JD Martinez. One cool note on J.D. Martinez, he is the most recent player to hit four homers in a game. Only 18 guys have done it in big league history. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Martinez, multi-time All-Star, 35 years old, and he's usually in left field, but today he's patrolling center. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. Well, typically left fielders have the least amount of range in the outfield. So for him to take the responsibility in center field in this one, he's going to really need his corner guys to help him out in the gaps. Whips it to first on the run. Wow. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The third baseman, number 13, Max Muncy. Max Muncy at the dish. 0 for 1 so far. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And that one hit to first, and it goes just foul. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Righty delivers. Bounce to the right. And it gets by him. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. First pitch, oh, no. just misses. One -oh. And the 1-0. -oh. Ah. That clips the corner. One ball, two strikes. Up the middle, Lindor. To second, there's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. On to the seventh here in game one. It's the Mets five and the Dodgers nothing. Yancy Almonte on a pitch out of the pen here. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And now it's Frankie Lindor. 
Fair to say he wasn't his typical self in the division series. Chris, I talked to the staff, and they are confident that he's going to deliver big here in the LCS. Yeah, you see these guys around him, and they know he's a stud, and they know it's just a matter of one swing that he breaks out. Here comes the 1. Into center and a base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. So, man aboard, Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. Pitch misses, ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Smith calls it in, and there's one away. Now batting the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. Man at first, now Pete Alonzo. And first offering is fouled off. And that's outside. Swing and a miss, and the count is one and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. And now it's filled up. pitch on the ground could be two fires to second for one back to first double play and that's it for the inning no runs one hit no errors and no one left seventh inning stretch time it's the Mets five and the Dodgers nothing Here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh, and yeah, the batter now, Miguel Vargas. And the pitch. There's the strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The wind of the pitch. Right side. Marte moves under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. The first baseman, number five. Freddie. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see Whoa. how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And he takes it himself for the out. And now it's Mookie Betts. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. And a foul ball. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Back 
here in L.A. Leading off, Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar. The right-hander back to work. Swings and misses. Going one. Wow. That's not even close to the zone. The 0-1. Fouled off. He was late. Hey, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Kicks and deals. Fastball right back to the mound. Sends it to first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. And now the right fielder, Starling Marte. That one's in there. Strike one. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, oh, now. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. The pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. Here's a 1-2. Just misses with that one. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Bounce to the right side. Freeman steps on the bag. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. So up next for New York, Mark Canna. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. On the ground. In there safely. If he would have had just a little quicker release going up the middle, he's maybe able to get that out right there. And that's the kind of play that defines the best shortstops between just the average ones. And now, Francisco Alvarez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And ball one. Canna leads off first with two down to the inning. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Martinez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Of the eighth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. And a pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. So, man aboard. Next is the Dodger DH, Trace Thompson. 
taps softly third base side. A swinging bunt. Tosses to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Chris Taylor now at the plate. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. And fouled off. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. The center fielder, number J.D. Martinez stands JD. in. Martinez. That's in for a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Swing and a miss. 0-2 oh, down. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. J.P. Fire Eisen. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Mark Vientos getting ready to hit. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Fire Eisen measures six feet two inches. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Next offering is foul back. Oh, and two now. And now one and two. Check swing, no appeal. Next one misses, counts full, three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that wall. Gets under it and pops it up. Lux gets under it. And out number one on the grab. The batter, the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor will hit next. Well, it's pretty clear that he was frustrated, and even he admitted as much with his performance in their last series, but now a chance to hit the reset button. That's one of the things he's going to have to get used to, being the superstar player in this lineup. They are going to pitch you very tough, and if you make the adjustment, you can have success. I think you'll have it in this one. Activity in the bullpen. Caleb Ferguson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. That looked like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. That one to first.
swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. McNeil stands in now and watches strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Vientos off of first with two away. And it's one and one. Kicks and fires. Bows it off. Still one and two. Left hand batter waits. Out to center. Martinez moves towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Max Muncy. The why to kick the pitch. That's in there, and it's 0-1. And, Way inside, gets out of the way. One ball, one strike. And a 1-1. One -one. And that one hammered. Nimmo going back on it. Leaping and he makes the grab. The batter, number nine. Gavin. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Pitch misses inside and it's 1-0. And another ball. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. Next offering misses. Three and two now. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now around second, going for third. McNeil with a relay throw. He's in there. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Runner at third with one gone. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Vargas. And a base hit up the middle. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Freddie Freeman digs in now. Strike one. No ball. One strike.
Oh, and one now. And that's a strike. Hard ground ball base now. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Bets batting with one down takes a strike. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. A little bit low. One out. Runners at first and second. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Snags it for the second out. Now that. The catch. And here is Will Smith. In there, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Next offering is foul back. One and two here. Just misses the mark outside the zone. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Vargas, the lead runner at second. Freeman at first, two out of the inning. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this guy was dominant all game long. He had the stamina, and he was efficient with his pitches, getting all the way through this one for a complete game. He gave up one run, but when you look at it, an excellent performance. And more importantly, his team got the win. So, Singy, as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. A fantastic effort. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.